Hi guys, welcome to Reinvented. So excited for today's episode. I have no guest, but we're gonna do hour long episode and I brought cookies. You got cookies in here. Don't ask why I put them in a cup. So I found a list of questions and I'm gonna answer these questions and they're different questions than what I did in last week's episode. So let's see. All right. And you guys can also, you know, like, kind of, I guess, get to know me a little more. What weird food combinations do you really enjoy? So this one I've heard, apparently, people, some people like and some people don't. Pizza and ranch. Really good. Let's see. What social stigma does society need to get over? Uh, I feel like for social stigmas, it's more of, I don't know, I'm trying to think of, think of one, like, you know, like, I'm trying, I can't think today, guys. I'm a minute into this. Be a long episode because I can't figure out how to talk. <laughs> um, but I think it's more of like we need to do a lot better job of teaching, especially like in schools. Like, like, in, like I guess stop making it look like when you grow up it's so easy because it's not in life itself. Even when you're a teenager, isn't easy. And kind of the same goes the other way, too, when, you know, adults looking, oh, well, you're a teenager, your life is so easy. It's, it's really, it, it's not. Um, and I think, like, people just need to stop kind of looking at people and being like, oh, your life must be so easy. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think there are, like, people out there with, like, the hardest lives ever, but I think a lot of it has to do more with, we just gotta stop looking at people and judging people just based off of how they look. Let's see, what food have you never eaten but would really like to try? Mmm. Mmm. You know, I don't know. I'm, I haven't tried many foods. Like, I don't like asparagus. So. Oh, there was one, and, like, I had, it was, like, I think it was, like, a fruit or a vegetable. I forgot what it was called. Let me Google this really quick. I got my phone in front of me. Let me Google this. If I'm remembering correctly, because what's coming to my brain is it is it jicama? I loved that as a child. Mm, I know. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna put it into my phone, so my phone's gonna start speaking here in a minute. As I sure as hell do not know how to spell this. Jicama. The root vegetable, according to vegetable. WebMD, jicama is a root vegetable with thick brown skin. It's white inside and tastes like an apple, but not as sweet. It's a bit like a potato, but with a lot fewer carbs. Yeah, and it's really good. I liked it a lot. I haven't had it like since then, but I would definitely try it again. What's something you really resent paying for? Mm. Well, for me, ring lights. I hate buying ring lights. Personally. I really hate it. Because um, they break on me so easily. Or they, like, come unscrewed so easily. 
So it's really annoying. But also, like, I, I feel like as an adult, I'm always like, should I spend the money? Like, if y'all saw me on Thursday when I w- went live, you would know that I was like, I really didn't want to spend money, but I did to buy food. And I don't like to. So. That's a good question. What would a world populated by clones of you be like? Well, I know a lot of people would be fucking annoyed. I don't know if I'd ever want a world populated by clones of just me. I feel like, because then everyone would be just like me. And it's like, okay, no social connection there. (laughs) I mean, I'm not good at social connections. But. Yeah, I don't know. Always working, apparently. I literally, like, got told a few days ago, oh, you must love working. I mean, I gotta pay bills. I'm like, I love my podcast. I love that. I love comedy. I I love what I do, but I don't... Like, in terms of, like, you know, working full-time, I like my job. It's just more of this thing of, like, it, it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's definitely not something I'm, like, all passionate about. And it's all really boils down to, and I feel like a lot of people are like that when you come into, you know, like, the service industry or anything like that. You know, tree level jobs. That's what you're going to get. What are you currently worried about? Being an adult. My anxiety has just been so bad the last few weeks to be honest the last few months like the last like I know that like I can honestly sit here like oh life is great I mean it's not bad but it definitely my anxiety has just been a lot higher personally career wise especially like I will say like when things were starting to take off kind of career wise like you know reinvented coming out you know, all this other stuff, Um, you know, and open mics were going great. Life hit me like a freaking semi-truck. And as my career was still going pretty good, my personal life was like, nope. So my anxiety has been like all over the place. This is what I get for having anxiety. It's like that one lady told me, she's like, well, you definitely have anxiety. I was like, yeah, I already knew this. I also know I have depression, too. What other thing, groundbreaking things do you want to tell me that I already don't know? And it's just plain and simple. Uh, do you think that aliens exist? Yes and no. Although, I'm going to kind of take it more from a, like... I guess from a more paranormal standpoint... My cookies all sticking together. I'm gonna take it more from a, from that kind of standpoint. Because I have always like grown up like thinking like you know there's there's more to life than just mammals and like amphibians, all that stuff. I'm like, there's definitely more to the world than that. So, yeah. Hmm. Where are some unusual places you've been? It's a good question. Good question. I don't know. Uh-uh. Oh, my shop ticket to this, like, the park I used to go to when I was younger. It always reminded me of this one dream I had, like, and it's in a beautiful area. There's, like, some, like, little hiking trails, right? And I 
Although my dream didn't take place, like, in a park, it really just reminded me of it. And, like, this dream, there was, like, this, like, and I had this dream multiple times. So it's not just, like, a one-time occurrence that this happened. But, like, in the dream, I remember there was, like, this big tower. And it was, like, so, like, and my cat got stuck up there. And my cat mystery. Yes, I was having a dream about my cat, okay? And I remember he got stuck up there. I had to go fetch him out, but this person was, like, known to kidnap children. It was so weird. It was, like, the weirdest ever. And it was not the first, the only time I ever had that dream. So, I guess that's kind of unusual. Hmm. Where do you get your news? My phone. I don't really... I don't really watch a whole lot of TV. Um, at least as much as I used to. And to be honest, like, I don't really play on my phone as much unless I have like some downtime. Or, you know, like, I'm, I'm, like, going live, you know, work stuff all out. Like, sometimes I'll scroll through Facebook or Instagram and see some feeds on my, you know, some things on my page. So, yeah, my phone mostly. Or, like, that one time that Amber Alert thing went off on the Max. Well, my dad's went off first. <laughs> No, the whole card of this max. His goes off first, then mine, and then everyone else's is going off. Just like like alarm clocks, and everyone's trying to turn off their phones. It was kind of funny. Okay. What are some red flags to watch out for in daily life? I don't know. Some of those, like, people... Who just, I feel like can always put you down and then tell you that there's something wrong with you. Like, and I will say this just from personal experience and having to actually, like, go to therapy and talk about this. It took me a long time to realize, and this came from, like, life's professionals, like, took me a long time to realize, like, that I'm not the problem. And, and, you know, that was okay. I'm like, you know, like, I, cause I always wanted to like talk about it, but I was like, you know, no, it's probably just being too dramatic, whatever. But I think in all honesty, like it took me a while. So I'm like, I'm not the problem just because someone else didn't want to listen. What movie can you watch over and over Without getting tired of it. Okay, so I'm going to give you two movies. So one was from my childhood. And I loved this movie so much as a child. It was Over the Hedge. If anyone's seen that. Loved that movie. I loved it as a child. Um, And then also. Ride Along. I love Ride Along. Who doesn't love Kevin Hart? And also, like, right along, too. I, I think I own both of those. I think. When you are old, what do you think children will ask you to tell stories about? Can we talk in funny stories? Or because... I mean, a lot of my funny stories come from myself. And just, you know, my life in general. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, when did something start out badly for you, but in the end it was great? I think a lot of, a lot of, like, things when they start, you know, badly, it's more of just my anxiety 
was like, oh, you know, like, how is today going to end? How is today going to go? Stuff like that. And definitely, like, I will say pretty, pretty intense. But I'll say, like, the end, like, the day ends actually pretty good. So, like, that's where I'm going to go with that one. Mm. How would your country change if everyone, regardless of age, could vote? I feel like there would be a lot of riots. Because, okay, so I'm from Portland. Now, I know Portland has become known for some craziest fucking riots. Uh, so I think that's what would happen. In my head, that's what would happen. Let's see. If your job gave you a surprise three-day paid break to rest and recuperate, what would you do with those three days? Probably sleep. I like to sleep. So, like, I start my day really early, but I don't think I'm a morning person by any any means. I like, I like my sleep. So, yeah. Let's see. All right, what's the most epic way you've seen someone quit or be fired? Okay, so I've never seen anyone be fired before um, in any of my jobs, nor have I ever had to fire anyone. But I think, like, I've, I especially, like, will say I've seen people, like, walk out and quit for the most part. Like, I know people had walked out because, like, and then a lot of the kids I had worked with were, like, like, maybe 18, you know, anywhere from, like, 16 to 18 at the time. And they would, like, walk out and quit. So, like, I mean, I guess those are kind of cool, but not, not really. I, mean, I haven't seen anything too crazy. All right, what's something that will always be in fashion no matter, no matter how much time passes? Sweatpants. Sweatpants are comfy, and you do not come for me, they are comfy. I will also say leggings. Those are also very comfy. Mmm. Let's see. Where do you get most of your decorations for your home? To be honest, all over the place. Uh, this is like a stupid question, but whatever. Let's see. What food is delicious but but a pain to eat? I'll give you two examples. And this these are both instances from when I was younger. So for starter, Jolly Ranchers. Took out my twos. Jolly Rancher took out my twos. I went three years not eating Jolly Ranchers because I was afraid of them. I don't really eat them anymore, but <laughs> I went three years as a child. Mom was like, oh, you want to eat Jolly Ranchers? No, I'm scared of them. They took out my two. And Skittles. I loved Skittles as a child. And I still do. But, uh, yeah, Skittles also took out my tooth. Both of these were baby teeth, but still, it scared the shit out of me. Alright, who was your craziest, most interesting teacher? So, I had a teacher in middle school. And, well, I had quite a... Mm, trying to think of, like, other crazy teachers I had. I'll say, like, I know in, like, fourth grade, I had, like, a, a mean, like, I, I'm not even so much mean, per se, but she, like, she definitely, like, told me I was anorexic. Like, she didn't directly tell me, but the whole class knew what the fuck she was talking about. 
like I remember we were learning about like different things, right? Like the body. So, and we were learning about eating disorders. And uh, I remember like it was like fifth grade. So you had kids who were like, this person's this, this person's this, you know, kids being kids. Especially like in my school, like that's, that was so common. I don't know about you guys, but it was so common. I mean, it was like fifth grade. So, well, like the next day we came back and she goes, I know we've been talking about, you know, eating, you know, eating disorders, but you guys can't go on the playground, you know, saying like this person's this, this person's this, right? And it's, it's seemingly in it isn't enough, like you can't be saying that. And she looks me dead in the eye and actually goes, how, even though how true it may be. And like the whole class looked at me, it was so awkward. And I'm like, I, okay, thanks. Um, but I also remember like in like sixth grade, um, I had like a teacher, he was, he was a really nice teacher. Um, and he definitely, I think, did a lot of things for students. Um, and then I, I also remember, like, my senior year, we had, we weren't so much teachers, we were more, like, educators. Same thing, I know. But, I don't know, he just was, like, all over the place. He knows who I'm talking about, but, um, he knows what I'm talking about, I don't really... I'm like, dude, like, he was, like, all over the place. I see now, like, you know, because now he, like, he runs, he runs his own businesses, but, like, at the time, it was, like, dude, okay. So. All right, what old person thing do you do? I, I know this sounds weird, and I just heard this yesterday, but I go to bed too early. I go to bed at like nine o'clock. Yeah, I go to bed at nine o'clock. That back started to hurt. Yeah, I go to bed at nine o'clock and I get up at like five a.m. I was like, okay, you get up hell early. That's not normal. I don't genuinely care. What is the most amazing slow motion video you've seen? Um, hmm. cats. I love watching so much from cat videos because it's funny watching their little legs like jump up there. It's cute. I don't know. Um, what is the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? Okay, so I haven't, I don't really eat spicy foods. Like, I can now. Oh, uh, but at the time, I couldn't, but it was hot Cheetos and Takis. My mouth was on fire. I had a very sensitive mouth as a child. So, yeah. What's the most expensive thing that you've broken? A candle. I wanted to touch the candle. What makes your eyes roll every time you hear it? I'm gonna I kept giving you guys a story from like a few weeks ago, but I was at Dairy Queen and you could tell they were short staffed. You could tell there was only three of them, like three or four of them. And these guys were being so impatient, like they're like, it shouldn't take this long. If I went back there. Yeah, if I went back there, I would know. Like. I could get it done. And I'm thinking, like, they're short-staffed. There's three of them. They're not, like, I'll fucking with them here, people. Like, it's like one of those, like, people, people are always like, well, why do you get so mad about it? Well, because it's like. 
I'm like, I, you know, I've worked in the in the food industry. People like just don't like get it. Should kidneys be able to be bought and sold? I literally just looked at this question. I was like, what? Okay. I think you should... Kidney transplants are a good thing. But how are we, how are we selling these things? Because it looks like we're trying to, like, build, you know, a serial killer's fantasy. Like, that's what automatically popped in my head here. Let's see. When was the last time you got to tell someone, I told you so? I always love, okay, so, like, I have very high instincts, guys. My instincts are, like, are really high. Okay? And I've been told this by so many people. And I never really thought about it. But, you know, like, now I kind of, I, I kind of know, and every time, like, people are always like, oh, I'll be fine. I'm just like, mm -hmm, okay. And then I'm just watching them, like, even if it's at work, they're just, like, dying over there. I was like, okay. I was like, you want my help now? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, see, told you. Hmm. All right. What invention doesn't get a lot of love but has greatly improved the world? Light bulbs. Come on, think about it. Like, do you like changing your light bulbs? Because I sure don't. I'm still not good at it. I also can't reach it, but what gives me light in the house? Hmm. What's the most interesting building you've ever seen or been in? It's the one, I forgot what it was called, but I learned about it like in middle school. It was like this one where it's like, you kind of walk over and you can look over. It's not, it's like, I know it's in New York, but it's, it's like, I think, like, you're, like, practically walking on glass. It's kind of like a triangle to, like, you know, enclose you in there, I think. I kind of forget, but it was pretty cool looking at it. Hmm. Hmm. What's the most unsettling film you've seen? I remember, I don't remember how old I was, but we watched, I went to a friend's party and we watched this movie called like Sisters or something like that. And it was on, based on a true story. But like the sisters like killed the mom. It was just like some weird ass story. It was like really like what the hell did we just watch? Let's see. When was the last time you went snooping and found something you wish you hadn't? Mm. I'll say when I was younger and this is when I did actually give the talk. Um uh, just say don't put condoms in a clear drawer right in front. Just saying, you, your nine-year-old will be very interested in what the hell it is, okay? And your cousin. All right, which celebrity or band have, has the worst fan fan base? Do I remember when he went to that one direction craze? 
I loved One Direction, but I would never want to go to one of their concerts. I did want to go when I was younger. Yeah, and they've not been super expensive. Let's see. What's something people don't worry about, but really should? When their motor blows up in their cars. I was not there for this. But I remember my dad told me one day. My grandpa's trying to call me. And I asked, he's like, your dad was just trying to call me and said his car broke down. I'm like, let me call him so I can get a hold of him. Called him, you know, I think like two times I got a hold of him. I said, well, grandpa's trying to call you. He's like, he said, since your car broke down. He's like, oh, yeah, we got, I got a hold of him. I was like, oh, cool. I was like, what happened to your car? Well, my motor blew up. And I mean, he said it so calmly, too. I'm like, and I'm sitting on the other side of the phone like, what? Because when I think of blow up, guys, I don't know if y'all are thinking of the same image of my head, but I'm thinking, boo. I know, I'm like, how can you just say that so calmly? My motor just blew up, like, okay. So, yeah. Do you think that children born today will have a better or worse life than their parents? I'm not so sure about for better or worse, but I will say it is hard, you know, being a young adult. Because it's like people look at you like, oh, you're so young, you don't know anything. And you have to, like, learn about these things. Like, you know, I don't know, like, you just got to be like, oh, well, you're too young. It's like, great, thanks. Um, let's find another question. Ooh, if you were a ghost and could possess people, what would you make them do? Mmm, that's it. Yeah. I'd make them probably dance like an idiot. I don't know, that just sounds fun. Uh, I think good ones. What's the most depressing meal you've eaten? Mm, Brian mac and cheese. Microwaveable mac and cheese. It's good. It's just not as, you know, fulfilling as many would think. When was the last time you slept for more than nine hours? I'm pretty sure I slept for more than nine hours, or less than nine hours today, but I remember as a child, I used to love just sleeping, so. All right, I'll probably make this go to like 40 minutes. That's my good question, it's really hard. What word is a lot of fun to say? And this is a child. Uh, I loved Mississippi. Never been to Mississippi. Mississippi. Where is your go-to restaurant for amazing food? Okay, well, we're going to talk about what kind of fast food because I don't really go to sit-down restaurants as much. But I love Shake Shack. Let's see. Some of these are like really odd questions. You have to make absolutely no sense. Mm. Now here's one. What did you Google last? 
that I can look up. Like Google Maps, I don't know. Actually, it will technically it would take a month. But let's see the thing before that that I Googled. How about that? Mm, oh, yeah. Portland Co ed soccer. Don't worry, Matt Wright is on there too. Matt Wright is also on there. What's the most anxiety inducing thing you do on a regular basis? Okay, so I don't do this on a regular basis, but I definitely do this a lot more than I should. Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros energy drinks really amp up my anxiety. Hence why, like, before games, and I did this in high school, like, or, like, the, you know, the day of a game, or, the, like, in high school, it was the day of a track meet, I would not have Dutch Bros. I would not have an energy drink because it made my anxiety so bad. And I, especially at that time, my anxiety wasn't like the grace in general. It made it even worse. Oh. What current trend makes no sense to you? Now, okay, a lot of uh, social media trends and it has happened for years, right? Make absolutely no fucking sense to me. Like, for starters, who the fuck thought it was a good idea to eat Tide Pods? Because now it's so fucking hard for me to open my Tide Pods to do my laundry. Can't open them. I mean, I can. I just struggle a lot. They weren't always like that. Okay? Also, like, what? Shoving, like, cinnamon in, in our mouths? Like, why? Why the fuck do we do that? We thought that was a good idea. Also, like, what was that? Like, Kylie Jenner, like, the one where they'd, like, take, like, a cup and, like, suction to their lips and, like, I don't know. Just, like, try to look like a fish. I was like, why? Who thought that was a good idea? Like, and I've been reading about one where... I'm not sure if this is entirely true, but, like, carjackings have been up because of a TikTok trend. So... Alright, what's the funniest pickup line you've heard? Okay. So this one isn't funny. It's a little bit more messed up than anything else. Okay, but it's kind of funny. I would never say this to anyone. But it was, and I remember seeing it on Facebook. It was, you smell like trash. Can I take you out? I would never say that to anyone, but I was like, uh eh. All right, what's your good luck charm? I love my uh, little cross here, and I definitely would say it's my good luck charm. Okay, I'm going to answer one more, and then I'll go, but let's see. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you while working at your job? Okay, so this happened a few years ago, but I remember... Like it was like my like first few weeks. I remember. We, okay, so we weren't allowed to accept tips, and and yes, I had told the management about this story because I thought it was kind of funny. But some people, you know, like to tip people. Um, which okay, and some people would walk off really fast. They'd be like, "Oh, you know, here's your tip." And then, you know, hand it to you, and then they'd walk off so fast before you could say anything, before you say, I'm oh, sorry, I can't accept tips. 
But there was one time I was taking this guy's order and it was there's his order and I go, oh, and I don't have a nice day. He takes a twenty dollar bill and throws it at me. He goes, Oh, thank you. And like he was such a nice guy, but he like threw the twenty at me. And I was like, What just happened? And I, I'm holding this twenty dollar bill in my hand and other people were like, what just happened? I was like, I, he just threw a twenty dollar bill at me for a tip. I was like, but he walked off like that. I was like, that was so it was so weird to me. I've never had money just thrown at me. So yeah. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Reinvented. Until next week, love ya. Peace. <laughs>